Pre-inflation occurs when the inflation rate increases very rapidly, resulting in prices going up very fast and the currency losing its value quickly. There are few cases that this really became a problem, particularly in Europe. One of the most amazing hyperinflation cases in history happened in Germany. World War I lasted from 1914 until 1918. After the war, the Allies had triumphed and Germany was defeated. The Weimar Republic was set up in Germany after World War I by the Allied forces, replacing the German leaders who had been involved in the war. Part of the Weimar's responsibility is to pay for the repaired costs for all the damages caused to the Allied countries. It was payback time. The Allies presented the German government with a bill for 132 billion marks, which is twice Germany's annual income, and translated to $32 billion at that time. So what do you do as a country that just spent all its money to fight a war and then lost? The Germans did just what American Continental Congress did in 1777. They fired up the printing press and printed more money. In over one year, the government had set up over 200 paper factories with the intent of printing money around the clock. But obviously, there has to be a catch, right? You can just print off money and pay off your loans. The prices went up so much that people were forced to spend billions of marks for daily items. As an example, a loaf of bread, which cost 250 marks in 1923, rose to 200 million marks in 1923. A newspaper that was sold for one mark in 1922 had a price tag of 70 million marks in 1923. It was cheaper to use the back of the one million mark to write notes as a notepad would cost billions of marks. Some had to use wheelbarrows filled with cash to get a cup of coffee. At restaurants, customers had to negotiate the price of the food in advance as there was a good chance that the price would change before the meal was served. Most restaurants did not print menus as by the time the food would arrive, the price had already gone up. Ordinary citizens suffered the most. Germany's birth rate fell and the death rate rose. Infant mortality climbed by 21% and on the block market, Cigarettes became the new money. The government's money was so worthless that it was cheaper to burn marks instead of food or coal. Some used marks instead of wallpaper to decorate their walls. Children also used bundles of marks instead of toy bricks. So what did they do? Clearly, they haven't fixed the problem and created another one. Well, in the end, the German government eventually managed to stabilize the situation by taking a number of initiatives including cutting 12 zeros from the paper mark and replace it with a new currency called written mark. Germany is currently doing well economically. In fact, Germany is the largest national economy in Europe and is the fourth largest by nominal GDP in the world with 3.5 trillion dollars. We estimate real GDP growth of 1.4% in 2015 and forecast 1.6% growth in 2016.